so soft. Is it funny that I'm stroking it like this? Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are going to be talking about one of the hottest bags and it is none other than the Gucci Marmont flat bag. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mel and today I'm going to be doing my one year review of this bag. So if you like what you see, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and you can just subscribe to my channel by hitting that red button. And if you click that bell, then you'll be notified each time I upload. So if you're interested to know how this has worn, what it looks like, what fits inside, what my real thoughts are about this bag and if it's worth it keep on watching so first off I'm just going to show you a quick overview of the bag then I'm going to go into usability what fits inside mod shots and also discussing the wear of the bag how has it worn because I know a lot of you one of the biggest questions I get about this bag is Mel I'm a bit worried about velvet I just don't think it's going to wear well, so I'm going to address that as well. So let's take a look at the bag. So the bag I'm going to be reviewing today is the Gucci Marmont flat bag. Mine is in velvet and it is in the mini size. Now, Gucci Marmont is such a popular range for Gucci. They have a variety of bags. This is the flap style, and it actually comes in four different sizes. So one, the super mini, and that only came out this year, and it is smaller than this. It's the one that you can convert into a belt bag as well. It is tiny, and as the name suggests, super mini and super cute. The one I have is the mini, which is probably equivalent of very similar size to the, to the Chanel rectangular mini. Then the next size up is called the small, which is equivalent to a Chanel medium large. And then the bigger size is the medium. I'm not sure why they call it the medium because it's actually equivalent to a Chanel jumbo size. So four sizes, but mine is the mini size. So just quickly, that's what it looks like. And that is the back. And it's got that beautiful love heart detail, which really makes it in my opinion. And it is in a Chevron design. In terms of the chains, it is a sliding chain mechanism like this. So you can double strap it like that as well. And to open it up, it's a push lock mechanism. Open it up. Inside is leather lined and inside here is satin as you can see with one pocket. So that's just a very quick overview of the bag. How easy is the bag to use? When do I use the bag? And does it fit in with my lifestyle? So how easy is it to use this bag? Super easy. I find it very easy to get in and out of. This clasp at the start takes a little bit of getting used to, like you have to pop it open. So you've got to pop it open and then it opens up. But once you get used to it, it's fine. But you do need to hold the base of the bag and then it doesn't have anything in it, but to push it closed, you do need to hold the base of the bag and then push it in, as you can see. But it's much easier to do when your bag is filled up. When your bag is not filled up, then it's a little bit tricky, as you just saw. In terms of how easy is it to wear the bag, one thing that I absolutely love is this chain mechanism, this sliding chain mechanism. Plus it's got this piece of leather tab here. And that is just so comfortable, sort of just molds to my shoulder. So whether I'm wearing this as a shoulder bag, whether I'm wearing it as a crossbody bag or even double strap like this, comfort wise, I find it super easy to use. And I like the options that you can just wear it all different ways. When do I tend to use this bag? Honestly, guys, I use it for all different occasions. I will dress it down with denim and I'm just going shopping, whether I'm going to brunch. I've also taken it out for date night and dressed it up. And you know, I think the misconception for velvet is that, oh, velvet's a more wintry fabric. Nope, I have worn this all year round from winter to summer as well. So I think honestly with velvet, you can wear it all year round. And do I gravitate towards this bag? I think I do because it is, I don't know, the color just attracted me so much. For those of you that have been following me for a long time, you also know that I rotate my bags a lot. So how often do I use this bag? I think that's really important because 
you know, if I say to you guys, oh yeah, I use it once every few months. Well, that's not really a good review because I've just because I've had it 14 months and I've used it three times, that's not going to be a good review for you guys. But I probably use this bag two to three times a month, which is quite a lot for me, as I said, because I do rotate my bags a lot. So we're talking about 30, 40 times I've used it. So I reckon I can give you a pretty good in-depth review of this bag. So usability wise, it gives a big tick for me. And in terms of weight, this bag is relatively light as well. And that just adds to the usability because I don't need to doubt and say, oh, I'm not going to take that bag because it's a little bit heavy. I don't find this bag heavy at all. And I do believe in the leather version because it doesn't just come in velvet. It comes in leather, um, which probably is the more popular option. But um, the leather version is even lighter. So weight wise is another tick. So let's see what fits inside. I hope the camera is picking up this beautiful velvet shade. It is in color Reuben and is in this beautiful berry. So to open up, it's just this push lock mechanism. You push that up and then it opens up. As I said before, it's got the satin lining and then just the slip pocket. Okay, so first up, if it's an iPhone 7 Plus and this has got a hard case too. It does fit a mini pochette, but it takes up most of the room. And in this mini pochette, I've just got makeup, um, pills, just a junk drawer of things really. And then I'm going to put in some tissues, not a problem. This is my coin purse, my Bastia coin purse, which is pretty empty at the moment. Oh, this is very important. My Chanel card case, which acts as my mini wallet. Let's just see what can fit in there. See, that's going to be too squishy. Okay, it does fit. And then I've got my lipstick pen. And these are my car keys, so that is a must. So this is pretty jam-packed, guys. I'm going to try one thing. This is sunglasses in a soft case. Let's see if that fits in too, because that can sit just up the top. Because this doesn't have a double flap, it does have that extra space. And then I'm going to close it up. It does close up, but as you can see, that was a very tight squeeze. So it's not bulging but I would not normally fill it up that much. But just to show you how much fit into that bag, I think that's pretty amazing. Let's talk wear and tear of this bag. As you know, I've had it for 14 months. I've used the bag probably 30 to 40 times. How has velvet held up? That's like the number one question I get on this bag. So I'm going to stay up close and personal so you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about. And in terms of wear and tear, I'm going to cover the material, the hardware, the overall structure of the bag, how it's worn on the inside as well. Okay, so let's start off with the hardware. One thing to note is that on this velvet version, I'm not sure if it's the same in the leather version, but from this velvet version, See this GG, and I'm just going to bring it up close. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see. But this GG Marmont is in an antique gold hardware. And when I mean antique gold is you can actually see little flecks of sort of black through it. So to me, that's more of an antique look. But if I compare that to the chain, the chain has no sort of black bits through it. So that is like a brushed gold hardware. So in terms of the hardware, how is it worn? Has it chipped? Because I know I also have seen that a couple of people when they first got this bag, there was chipping issues on this logo. I have had no chips, no scratches, no dents, anything at all on my Marmont um, logo at all. I do want to say something to you guys though. I have this in a belt version as well. And I recently took it in because my belt version did have scratches. I don't know why, but it scratched up really easily. So now Gucci are actually investigating that. And I would hope that they can do something about it because this version, which I've used actually more than my belt, is perfect. Nothing, just perfect. In terms of the chain, Nowhere at all. It looks brand new as if I bought her, you know, 14 months ago. So hardware, I've been really impressed. Nowhere at all. Next up is material. People are really, really skeptical to buy velvet because they are like, oh my gosh, is it going to wear well? What's it going to look like in a few years? I don't want it to look all patchy and blotchy. 
Now, what I mentioned previously at the start of the video, I'm like, I do not carry this bag in the rain. It's never been um, rained on. The velvet, I'm really happy with how this has worn. As you can see, so this is the front of my bag. This is the bottom of my bag. And this is the back of my bag with the heart. And that is the side. I have had no rubbing, um, no sort of patchiness along the corners. From here, it may look like um, some parts look lighter, but sometimes you just need to brush it and it looks a bit better. But honestly, when I got it, it was it's not perfect. It's not going to be uniform like leather. If you want a whole uniform look, then velvet might not be the option for you. I do know some people that have sort of sprayed their bags like suede or velvet. But as I mentioned before, I do not spray anything on my leather bags or patent or anything. So I haven't done anything. I just avoid the rain because one characteristic of velvet is that it is more delicate and so if you do get rain on it what happens is all the hairs which they call nap on the velvet can get matted and if you don't dry and look after it eventually that wet part sort of like gets thinned out and then you just see patches and that's like an awful look so if you guys are planning on getting velvet you either want to scotch guard it, but you have to be careful and get the proper one, or you just don't wear it in the rain at all. I do want to show you something though, um, and I don't think this would happen in the black version, purely because it's black, but since the colored version, if you guys have this bag as well, or the blue, or any other color velvet, tell me if this happens to you. But sometimes, um, you know, just because the way you wear it, sometimes if you are wearing the chain and I'm just gonna show you up close. So I'm going to just attempt to indent my bag because this is bound to happen. So just say it's you're leaning against something and you just put your bag down for lunch and the chain is stuck here and it presses on the bag. So I'm pushing this into my bag. Okay, can you guys see that? It sort of left a bit of a mark there look even my fingernail but that goes away it's left a bit of white patches when you get indentation obviously if you leave it there longer and you're leaning you're going to see them more don't be alarmed because that does go away if i just rub my hand over it like this in the direction of where the hair is going as you can see it just kind of goes away can you see that so that is one thing with velvet that can happen. If that's going to annoy you, then velvet's not the option for you as well. So everywhere else, besides those white sort of marks, which is going to happen, see there's another one there, that is just inevitable. It's just a characteristic of the material and you just kind of have to pad it more. But I haven't had an issue. And as I said, guys, I've used this bag quite a lot. And to me, the wear has been great and it's not as delicate as it seems. But as I said, don't wear it in the rain. Another question I got is that velvet also tends to attract a bit of lint and to also keep mine looking beautiful and lush and everything. Every few times after I wear it, I just get a normal sort of lint brush. And this one is just like a travel size. You can pick it up from a dollar shop. And what I like to do is, even though I may not be able to see any like dirt or sometimes you can see sort of lint, I just brush it like that. As you can see, just give it a little brush, a little bit of love like that. And it will take any of the lint sort of like some of those little, you know, bits that get stuck on it off. I didn't really have that much lint. To be honest, I don't find that it attracts that much lint. So worried about, oh, is it going to be a lint magnet? For me, not so much. Let's open it up. The interior is in satin, as you can see. Ideally, I wish I didn't put it in satin because satin is quite delicate too. Do I have any marks on mine? Let me just have a look. Not really. I've got some hair in there, which I don't know why, but it is super clean. The reason why it is super clean is because I store a lot of my loose items in my mini pochette and I always carry my mini pochette everywhere. So I don't have anything where it would sort of stain the bottom of the bag. So lining wise, not a problem for me at the moment. 
Next up is structure. Has this bag kept its shape? This is a very important point to note. Okay, can you see this flap? Well, all bags. All bags are always have reinforcement at the bag. Like, I don't know what they use as reinforcement, but they have something when they make the bag behind this, like, you know, it's not cardboard, guys, by the way, but there's it is reinforced. The difference between the Marmont velvet and the Marmont leather bags is that the velvet does hold its structure better. Why Mel? Well, this is what my Gucci sales associate told me. And even if you go and have a play of the bags, I think you will find this to be the case too. So as I was saying, this is reinforced. All the bags are reinforced here, but the sides, it's quite hard. There's actually reinforcement in that too. So, I mean, it's not like a structured bag, but it's reinforced throughout the bag. I'm gonna insert a little clip now for you where I went to the store and I did try on the leather versions and I just squeezed the bag the same sort of way. And you will be able to see, so I'm just squeezing it now. You'll be able to see that the leather version is a lot more squishier. So I just want to show you, this is the medium Marmont, which is the larger size. And when it's in leather, I'm just going to show you. This is not filled at the moment. So to open it up, you've got to push this. When it's empty, see how when I'm pushing down, you really have to mush the bag? Bear in mind, yes, you're going to have a few things in it, but I just think that this, especially the bigger shape over time, I do worry a little bit about the structure. So I don't own one, but I just wanted to show you guys that. I'll take the stuffing out. Let's try it. Okay, the stuffing is out. So if I push it down, yeah, it still does that. If I close the bag up here and it's empty, as you can see, it's completely empty. When I close the bag up, see, it does push down on the bag a bit. On the leather version, it's even worse. So I'll show you again. That's empty. I'm going to push to close. I, have to, I do need to hold the base of the bag, but it does push it down. And so a concern of mine and a concern of many others that I do own, own this bag as well is that it's going to lose its structure. It's going to get flatter and flatter and flatter and flatter. At least I know with the velvet version, because it, it is reinforced, is that structure wise, mine has not flattened at all. So overall, Mel, do you recommend this bag? I think the first question you need to ask yourself is if you love the Marmont style and you're deciding between the velvet and the leather is ask yourself how much are you planning to use it? If you're planning to use it as an everyday bag, then no, I do not recommend velvet. However, if you're planning to use it as an occasional bag, then yes, get the velvet. Velvet's amazing. Look at the color. It's just beautiful and it's lush. And in my opinion, you can wear it all year round. I just wanted to mention two of the slight cons. Everything else is a positive to me in terms of this bag. One being that it does annoy me sometimes that it can leave indentations like those white marks I showed you before. But as I said, if you get like a small lint brush or even your fingers, you can get that out. So that is a small con to me. Second con is that, see this hole here? If you do put like a loose lippy or lip liner or something in there, especially a lip liner because it's thin, that can fall out. But because I hold a lot of my makeup in my mini pochette, that has I haven't found that to be the problem. But once I did put a lip liner in there and I almost lost it. So I thought I'll mention that as well. However, if you're looking for something a little bit different and you know it's going to be like an occasional bag, I would say go for this. The only little thing as well is that when I bought this bag, I paid 1570 This bag has gone up 275 Australian dollars. I think Gucci is making the most of their popularity. So Australia and I think the rest of the world recently had a price increase. So this baby's gone up in price. But relatively speaking, compared to other luxury brands, Gucci has priced themselves pretty well because there's not that many bags that you can get for under 2000 Australian dollars anyway. That is my in-depth 
one year plus review of this gorgeous beauty. If you guys had any further questions and I didn't answer anything, just leave me a comment in below and I will do my best to answer it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really love sharing, I mean, all these sort of products with you, but I also really love sharing, you know, my comparisons and reviews because you guys have told me you found it really helpful. You know, I do want my channel to be a source of information for you guys as well. So I really appreciate appreciate all your amazing feedback. So have a wonderful day or night guys, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.